Whether you're selling t-shirts, hoodies, jackets, hats, sleeping bags, water bottles, or anything else, you need a good e-commerce website. So that is what we're gonna help you out to do today, is we're gonna build an e-commerce website from the beginning. Let's start with the basics. We're gonna be using WordPress to build this website. So we're gonna need hosting, we're gonna need a domain name, and we want to get WordPress installed. Now, some of you might have already done this, and if you have, all you need to do is use the timestamps just down below and click to step two. If you haven't done that, stick with me. Let's do it together now. So in order to get our hosting and our domain name, we're going to be using Bluehost because it is very good, it's very effective, and it's also very affordable. You can see here, starts at just $2.49 a month. Now, what you can do is if you head down into the top pin comment and you click on the link down there, you'll be able to get it at the best possible price whenever you are watching this. So let's get started now. And you've got lots of options of what it is you need. And there is an option here for online store, but we don't need that. All we actually need to use is this basic one just here. Now, obviously look at the others, see if any of them suit your needs a bit better. But for the sake of today, we're going to use this basic option. So choose plan. With that basic option, you do get a free domain name. So just here, you can choose your free domain name. So we can register whatever we want. Your new free e-commerce website.com. Um, and you can search for the domain. What this is going to do is it's going to search, make sure it's available and make sure that you can have it. As you can see, shockingly, nobody has decided to take that domain name yet because it is long and complicated. Um, so pick something short, succinct, and that suits you. You can see what you're gonna pay for your WordPress basic hosting just here, and you get your free .com domain name just there as well. It does automatically add domain privacy and protection, completely up to you, but you don't actually have to have it. So we're just going to uh, remove that for today. And there is an offer for a free trial for a professional email. Again, it's a three month free trial, but we're going to remove that today. From here, you can see your total cost for your first year, including your domain name and your hosting is really, really low. You can't really do a website for less money than this, $29.88. And we're just going to continue to the checkout. Here, you're just going to fill in all of your contact information, put in your payment information, and then you will get sent out an email basically with your link so that you can get access to your Bluehost account, which... I obviously already have. So we're going to jump straight to that page right now after you've clicked through your link. If you are thinking that maybe I don't have time for this or my skill level isn't maybe at quite this level yet, that's completely fine. You have a couple of options. Firstly, get subscribed to the channel so that you can learn more and become that WordPress expert if that's what you want. Or alternatively, if you want some help from the professionals, check out WP Beginner Professional Services. You can do that by hitting the link down in the top pin comment or in the description where our team of WordPress experts are gonna be able to help you out with everything from building your website to SEO, and of course, your speeds, your security, anything like that. So check those out if you do want that little bit of extra professional help. What that's going to do is it's going to drop you through to this page right here where you're going to be able to click here and add a site. Now, I've obviously got a few sites that I've already been working on and I've already used, but we're going to create a brand new one and it's going to be exactly the same process for you. So we're going to go here and click on add site. And that's going to give you this really handy little site type option here where we can choose to install WordPress, which is exactly what we want to do. So select that and hit continue. We can now choose to give the site a name. So I'm just going to call this new e-commerce website. And essentially you can call this whatever you want and change it at any time. So let's continue. Now here is where you're going to connect the domain that you just got. So you just we just got that really long, unnecessarily complicated e-commerce domain. And you can put that right in there 
and connect it immediately. But what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to use the temporary domain option, uh, but you want to put your domain name just up here. So I'll click there and continue. Once that installation is complete, you're going to get dropped right here. We've got a few different options. You can use an AI site creator that Bluehost have. You can follow a guided setup, import a site. Now, of course, there's a little option down here. I'm following a tutorial, take me to the dashboard. I am your tutorial. Click on this option and we will head to the admin dashboard. This is the page that you are going to be greeted with. Now, what I'm just quickly going to do is I'm going to come across here to the plugins section because there are a few plugins that come installed as standard with Bluehost. And essentially, I'm just going to remove everything um, aside from what is needed so that you can see we can build on top of that piece by piece and there's nothing distracting on the plugins for now. Now there's actually some really great plugins there like Optin Monster and WP Forms that in the end we're actually going to end up reinstalling but I want to show you it step by step and nice and straightforward so we're just going to keep this as clean and simple as possible. What we're left with is quite simply just the Bluehost plugin here. That's completely fine. What we're going to do now is we're going to head across to appearance and we're going to go to themes. So we want and we need our website to have a theme in order to run properly. And you can see there are three themes that come pre-installed and these are the native themes for WordPress. So you've got 2025, 24 and 23, literally for the years that they were created and added. Now, what we can do is if we come up here to new e-commerce website, we can open this and just have a look at what the website looks like. This is the website currently. It's not particularly interesting. <laughs> and a lot of what's populated there and the way it looks is down to the theme. So let's change the theme. There's a very specific one that I want to use. So we're going to come across here to this big plus and add new theme. We're going to come across to search themes here and we're going to search for the Astra theme. This is the one that I want this one right here. So let's install that. Hang around for just a second and then you will be able to activate it. So that has installed and activated our Astra theme. So let's have another look. What does the website look like now? And the answer is pretty much the same and not any better, but we're not going to worry about that. Because the reason we're using the Astra theme is because of the reason that it ties in with this here. So this has given us a massive option just up the top here to get started with starter templates, which is exactly what we want to do. Now, rather than click here, which you, you can do, I just want to show you where to find this if you don't get this option. Uh, we're going to go down to plugins. We're going to go to add new plugin. And we're going to come across and we're going to search for starter templates. Yes, I realize that seems kind of silly with the option right here, but I want to show you how to do it from the plugins repository. That's what this is. This is the WordPress plugins repository with loads of free plugins that add great functionality to your site. If you're unsure of what a plugin is, think of it like an app for your phone. So starter templates right here. And we're just going to install now. And again, hang around the same as we did for the theme and then just click on activate like this when it becomes available. So what that's done is it's dropped me through to my plugins page, my installed plugins, and I now have starter templates. So I'm just going to click here on get started. From here, you're going to get a couple of options. They do have an AI website builder that you can play around with if you like, but I just want to use classic starter templates. So if you're following along with me, use this one here and just click on build with templates. Here you can select your page builder as to what you're using. We are using the block editor, so we're just going to click on there as well. And what this is going to do is it's going to open up this page full of templates that we can use to build our website off. This is how we're going to get the basis for our website and for it to look amazing. Now we are building an e-commerce website. So if we come up to the tabs at the top here, we have e-commerce as an option. So e-commerce, and we're looking for an online store. Now you obviously already know exactly what you're selling. We are doing a mock site today, should we say, so we can choose anything at all. So I'm just going to click on e-commerce and just have a look at everything 
that is available. Now, what you do want to be aware of is that a few of these are premium themes. You can see them just up the top here. These you will have to pay to use. However, there are plenty of options like this one right here, which are free. So all we're going to do is we're just going to scroll down and find one that we like the look of. Now, there's one in here that I have used before. I know I like, I know I like what um, how it comes out. So we're going to find that one. And that's this one just here, the cycle shop one. Again, you don't have to be doing anything to do with bikes at all. I just like the way that this is set up and you can change it to your products completely. So let's do that. Let's click on the cycle shop. And in here, it's going to open up, give you a preview of what this is going to look like. So if you want to scroll through a few and then we can come across here and you've got options as to your e-commerce platform. I'm going to select WooCommerce. That's the platform that I am used to using. So I'm just going to click here for the WooCommerce e-commerce platform and then click continue. Now, from here, you've got a couple of options. These can all be edited later on in the process if you don't like the direction that you went. So you can change up the colors to something different, something that suits your brand, or indeed you can change up the fonts as well. So this will change every single font across the place. It's entirely up to you. As I say, don't get too hung up on this. If there is a particular thing you do that you don't particularly like, you can change it later. Similarly, you can upload your site logo here should you wish. So let's do that. All we're going to do for that is click on upload file and you essentially have a media library here, but there's nothing in it yet because we haven't added anything. So let's just upload files. So in here, you can drop a file in. Now I have my file ready to go, so I'm just going to drop it in there. Um, or you can select it from a destination on your computer. This is my new logo, and I'm just going to select it. And you can see that has immediately changed up in that top left-hand corner there. I'm actually quickly going to adjust that again because <laughs> I would like uh, the white coloring in the uh, in the bike to make it pop off more. Well, that's my fault for designing that badly. So <laughs> two seconds, I'll be right back with a different, better looking logo. There we go. Success that time. You can actually see it. So let's continue to the next step. Now, there's a variety of features it can ask you if you want to add. And essentially, you don't have to add any of them. We're not going to. Uh, there's a few here that are essentially compulsory. You can't get away with them, but we can delete them later if we don't want them. Uh, so let's just skip this step. Start templates is then going to build your website and it is incredibly quick. And I'll show you exactly the huge difference that we're going to make from what we had before to what we have right now. There we go. Website is created and took just 51 seconds to build. I'd say that's pretty quick. So why not? Let's just view the website and see what it looks like. So compared to what we were looking at earlier, obviously this is hugely, hugely different. And as I said, you do not need to be selling bikes for this to be relevant to you. We can change every single image to suit whatever it is that you're selling, whether you're selling t-shirts, shoes, cosmetics, it doesn't matter. Similarly, if you're selling digital products for download, you can adjust and change everything here. We will be covering that, so stick around if you're doing a digital product. But let's come down here. And again, we've got great highlights for a lot of our products there. So let's head back across to our dashboard where we can start to amend and edit that to suit whatever we like. So we're back on our WordPress admin dashboard and we've got a big banner just up the top here, essentially telling us to connect our Stripe account so that we can accept payments. And that's because if you look here, we have WooCommerce now. So we can start to create products and start to sell things. We're basically nearly there for the basis of a website already. But your Stripe account, if you don't have one, does exactly what it says. It allows you to accept payments. So you can click here to connect your Stripe account. And then essentially, if you don't have a Stripe account, you obviously need to create one here. It's free to create a Stripe account, so it is nice and easy. So you're just going to add your email and submit and go through this process. All right, so we have our hosting, we have our domain name, we have our website, and we have something that looks pretty good that is ready 
to accept payments and add products with WooCommerce. The next step, of course, is we need to take a look at our website and change it to match our particular products and what we're selling. We need to change all of this information. We might need to change all of these images if we're not selling bikes. We've even got different areas up in the top in the header here. We might want to change the header, the about us, the contact. This is all things that we need to do that we can start with on the customizer and then we can get into little smaller details by editing individual pages. So in order to follow on and do that next step, you want to click this video right here.